In the spring of 1956, Robert Creamer, writing in Sports Illustrated, said that a young slugger came so close to making history that he made it. What Creamer and no one else would know about that young slugger named Mickey Mantle was that almost exactly seven years later, history would repeat itself when Mantle again became nearly the first person ever to hit a fair ball out of Yankee Stadium. By 56, Mantle was already one of the most prodigious home run hitters in baseball, and already had coined the term tape measure blast for his legendary home runs, the longest of which was measured at 565 feet coming in Washington's Griffith Stadium in 1953. On May 30, 1956, Mantle hit a ball that no one will ever know exactly how far it went because it struck high off the facade that ringed the outfield at Yankee Stadium. Almost exactly seven years later, on May 22, 1963, Mantle did it again, this time off Kansas City's Bill Fisher. Mantle himself called the ball the hardest he had ever hit, and it was estimated to still be on the rise when it hit the ballpark. Scientists have disputed that claim, and no one has ever been able to officially nail down exactly how far that ball would have gone. 550 feet? 600 feet? Maybe even 700 feet? That will never be known. The ballpark, the home run, and the man itself will never be seen again. But all three will surely live on forever in the minds of baseball fans.